very ready.
getting ready to go back after here. Liam's trying to wear the old man out today, making me swing a hammer. You know, when I bought this shirt, I thought that was the biggest hammer I was ever going to have to swing. Ah! That's the big one. The big one's right behind you. But no, Liam had me swinging this thing. Now I've downgraded to a smaller one. Tricky. Which way should I, should I be hitting into that or down on top of it? Just like you're doing. Okay. It's working. Okay. It's just slow and steady. See, it's, it's smoothing that up, getting nice, yep. nice line right there, nice lines right there. Okay. So what's the next step, Rich? On the claw hammer, we're going to be cut, hot cutting in the claw, the actual cut in between the claw. We're going to be using a, a hot cut top tool, and I make these out of H13. Hot work tool steel. And that basically means that this steel will remain hard when it's red hot. Okay. We're cutting here? We're going to cut on the shoulder so we don't, be so we don't hurt the anvil on accident.
spider. Real light. Real light. Soaking it for eight minutes at that temperature, and then I do an agitated quench in Parks 50 quench oil, and then I temper them at 425 for two two-hour cycles. So the next step in this process is once these are cooled down, you take them over to whatever you're going to grind, right? To final shape everything, and then they go to heat treat. Exactly. Exactly. So on this hammer, we forge everything completely by hand. We didn't use any power tools in the making of this hammer. You're gonna feel it too, buddy. Let me tell you. So on this hammer, the only thing that's gonna get ground is the very front of this hammer head here. 
we're just going to grind that flush and that's that'll be it everything else is forged to finish and this one this one is the same way this one's forged to finish also the only thing we're going to grind are these two hammer faces and all this is left untouched perfect all right buddy thank you yeah thank you